everybody my name is Khalees aka KT Reyna and welcome back to my channel all about me so today we're going to be continuing the love life in June tarot reading series but today we're going to be doing Virgo so I know this angle is a little bit unusual but I wanted to to conserve my energy because right now is a very important time that's taking a lot of energy and so i want to conserve my energy as much as possible so for right now and maybe for the next few videos this camera will be only pointed towards the cards so as you see you can now see my table and that's how it's going to be but anyways before we get into this just a reminder that i am not a medical professional please don't use any videos like this as a replacement for medical professional medical help also this is a general reading meaning that i am reading multiple different people's energies so if you would like a reading that is tailored just for you you can go to the link in the description box down below that will show you how to get that get a personal reading all right this is the month of may and this is my grand opening so there is a grand opening sale that ends at the end of may all right so get it while you can okay only a week left i have two piles for you guys the first one is usually tailored to sun signs and the second one is usually tailored to rising and moon signs but if you feel called to look at any of the decks even though you don't have that sign in that in that planet that just means that there is a message there for you that you need to listen to but honestly just take whatever resonates so without further ado a card hello virgo number one so we're going to be using the final rose tarot to really ask the question what is next for you and love in the month of june okay so we have at the bottom of the deck six of roses challenge winner right we have page of flutes the daydreamer but in reverse we have knight of roses the front runner we have number 13 the end we have eight of rings insecure we have meeting parents nine of roses we have king of mirrors the intellectual we have the villain number 15 and we have queen of flutes the caregiver in reverse So for Virgo ones, what I see is the end of a what you thought relationships were going to be or should be or how they or so on and so forth. So you may have had a past where you kind of were burned and so you kind of kept your heart to yourself, right? So in your mind, your thoughts, your ideas, your dreams of a relationship are built off of your insecurities, right? So you had insecurities around relationships due to being burned and having your feeling like your, your heart was torn out and like feeling so left out in the cold and just um, traumatized, right? And so that has created a lot of insecurities around your idea your ideas of what a relationship is, what a relationship is supposed to be, yada, yada. To you, a relationship is kind of like a, um, a prison, right? To you, a relationship is, is hurt. It's, 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 it's pain. It's, it's this basically. And that has caused you to feel insecure about your relationships right or what relationships might be so you might have been a little bit um distant right but i see an end to those insecurities i see you going through this process 
where you're overcoming these challenges right this process where you're overcoming these challenges of not really accepting love because you're afraid of love even though you never really experienced love you're afraid of it you're afraid of, you're afraid of that vulnerability you're afraid of that hurt and that pain but i see you gaining freedom from that with the end and the front runner i see you gaining freedom from this you're going to be free from those thoughts and those feelings because they're not benefiting you and you're going out and you're having all these experiences and you're realizing that it's not as bad out here as you thought it was you know it's it's not there's, there aren't a whole bunch of people out here trying to hurt you and so with the king of mirrors the intellectual and uh, nine of roses meaning parents i see you coming across somebody who carries a very different energy from what you're used to so you're used to have feeling this energy where it's like oh you can't really trust that person something off about that person like something off about you but you're going to come across this person who is of course an intellectual but someone who is emotionally um intelligent as well someone who has has gone through their healing process and of course their healing process never ends but they're at a point where they know they're ready for a relationship and they can give you what you need and they're just looking for they're, they're trying to attract their equal right and so you'll come across this person and you'll start to feel like oh this is my equal and that's what i see with like these hands like shaking the hand sort of thing so like i see you guys basically being on the same page giving each other the same energy you're really going to have to see this person for who, who they really are and you're going to learn how to do that through this process of letting go your old ideas of what a relationship used to um really is right because you had all these ideas of what a relationship really is and all that other stuff but finally you're going to heal from that let that go and be like you know what maybe it's not all that bad you know i'm actually kind of open to something more committed more real more serious more lifelong and then that's when this person comes in and then they're just like they're kind of taking their glasses off and they're just like um who's that like who's that person i for some reason have an odd attraction to that person like i don't know them but i want to get to know them i want to open up my world to them for some odd weird reason and you're going to feel the exact same way at first you might be a little bit like oh my god i'm i'm, I'm vulnerable right now i'm opening up but you're gonna have to use your tools that you've learned through this process of healing and growing from your past hurt and pain to really allow this person in and give this person what you've always wanted period because you can't ask somebody to give something to you that you don't know how to give to somebody else or you're too afraid to give to somebody else that's not how that works so you guys gotta be both on your on the same page so you guys are both going to be opening up to each other and i see your insecurities kind of just melting away as you slowly come closer and closer to this person now you're not going to know um who this person is i don't see i see that most of you might not know this person you might not have ever seen them before and so you're not gonna you know know right away i saw 12 2 2 so that's a sign that you're not gonna know when this person's coming in so that's why the main focus and that's because the main focus is supposed to be on you and your healing process and not knowing this person not knowing when this person's going to come in is really going to help you focus on that healing process and that's when that person will come in and it will most definitely catch you off guard so it's going to be a, a surprise right i also see what the end and the front runner that's the end of you running away from your issues from your problems or from commitment and relationships things that scared you you know a lot and it's going to be into that because that came out of insecurity and hurt and pain and this person is just going to be something completely different so in the month of june i really see you 
and this person coming closer i don't know if you guys would be meeting actually meeting during that time if some of you do honestly congratulations but for some of you i see you getting closer in the month of june to the idea of who you truly want and desire and it's going to be this person and it's going to be completely different from how you felt when you first started this dating journey and you were all scared and terrified of things going wrong I see you kind of doing a whole 180 in the month of June and really opening yourself up and seeing things from a different perspective, seeing love from a different perspective, seeing relationships and commitment and long-term commitment from a different perspective. And that will open the door for you to grow closer to finally meeting this person. That's why I see this house like introducing you to this new person, meeting this new person, opening up your doors to this new person. So like I said, in june i don't necessarily see you actually mean this person but i do see you growing closer to meeting this person because you're going to do a complete 180 on what you think and feel and desire in relationships so yeah so we're going to ask with the romance angels oracle cards what kind of person is your divine counterpart so this king of mirrors the intellectual and the nine of roses meeting parents like what kind of person is this like who is he or who is who is her okay and we're just gonna figure it out okay okay so we have healing family issues we have let your friends help you we have wedding we have children but kind of like this we have separation and reverse we have passion, but in reverse. We have worth waiting for. And we have keep an open mind, right? And then under healing family issues, we also have past life relationship. And you deserve love, right? And we also have um, playfulness as well so this is going to be a relationship where you are going to have to really keep an open mind about this person because they're going to be very different from what you truly go for or who you truly expected for yourself right but this is definitely someone that you're gonna have to wait for like i said um this is divinely guys so it's div it says divine timing is at work in your love life so this is divinely guy like i said you don't know who this person is and you don't need to know exactly like the name of this person what they look like and all that other stuff because the main focus is on you and they and um it's gonna be hard to just focus on you if you know too much about this person right so you're just gonna have to be patient and show that love to yourself before trying so hard to try and show it to other people right so give it to yourself first and then when this person comes around you can give it to them okay but I do see that um, with this person, you're definitely going to have to learn to accept help from them. So you may have um, grown up in a situation or have been in other relationships where you couldn't really trust this person, your person's help, um, your partner's help, because it might have been um, ulterior motives or it might have been manipulative or like I said, might use it against you. And so you're going to be healing that through this process because they're going to be showing you a type of love that's very genuine and um, real. And you're going to feel yourself not wanting to be separate from them. It's like you're going to <laughs> want to be with them a lot, almost like all the time, because you just can't get enough of the love that they're giving you and you're really happy that you can truly give 100% of your love and affection without worrying about being taken advantage of or um you know being left out in a cold or that energy not being reciprocated like 21 22 on the camera 
so yeah that's just confirmation that this person is not going to take advantage of you and that you have been through something like this but they're not they're going to be a complete 180 from what you're used to and you're just you're just gonna you're not gonna understand like how this person can be so amazing right so there the passion is reversed but there's gonna be passion but you're gonna be kind of like trying to hold back a little bit because you don't want to you know jump into things so quickly so you may have been someone who has been very wary of jumping 22 okay confirmation again you may have been someone who's been very wary of jumping into things too quickly but then you always end up doing it anyways <laughs> and without realizing it until like after the fact and you're like fuck i i moved too quickly and so with this relationship it's going to be so amazing that you just don't want to make those same mistakes again so you're going to be trying to limit your passion and your affection so until you guys hit certain milestones like having a wedding getting married or having children so some of you might already have children and the person you're with might also have children or they might not and or some of you might you know expect to want to get married to this person might see this person as a great like husband and father material or a wife and mother material um but there's definitely someone that you can see a long a lifelong relationship with and so you're going to be trying to pace yourself and really like take your time with it so that you don't so that one you don't feel like you're rushing through things you don't feel like you're forcing yourself to do things that you don't want to do um and so you guys don't quote unquote run through the honeymoon phase right because the honeymoon phase isn't necessarily a phase as long as you communicate with properly it, as long as you communicate and you're honest and transparent with your partner you guys can maintain this honeymoon type of feeling because you're communicating to this person when you're bored or when you need more affection or when you feel some type of way and really having that conversation as a unit instead of one versus one it's you two working together to really work on that relationship and that's definitely going to be something different from you because different from what you experience um because you do you're going to realize like this is something that you always wanted you always wanted to be able to work as a unit with your partner but you've never been able to because they've always been against you rather than with you and so this person is going to be with you and that's going to be a great healing and elevating experience so that's why you're going to be taking your time when it comes to your passion and your affection and the trying not to suffocate each other because you want there to be space for honesty and change and um 444 stability okay and change and um transparency and growth you want there to be space for you know for things to evolve and you're really going to expect e or respect each other's boundaries right so that's the type of relationship uh, vibe that I get from this. This is the type of person that you're going to be with. Someone who really is going to open your eyes and have you like, oh, wow, I didn't know that there were such amazing people out there that I could be dating. And now I'm dating one of them and I feel so grateful. So, so, so grateful. So that's that. Let's go take the Lover's Oracle and we're going to ask for messages from your divine counterpart okay so like i said this person is on the same page as you in terms of really taking your time not jumping into anything too quickly in order to really savor this moment and really build something together because they're not here just for a fun time they're here for a long time too and so they want to make sure that it lasts a very long time so we have uh, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course, right? All right, nature taking its course. We have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. 
so like i said have trust to have faith that this person will come in hold out hope hold out space have an open mind because this is worth waiting for so until then really take time to reflect and enjoy this moment alone and this moment of healing all right so we have freedom there's nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be so like i said freedom from your own thoughts and feelings that are holding you back from evolving and healing so we have trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it would automatically transform so you are most definitely going to have to trust this person um in order for it to work out and that's what this process is for is for you to learn to trust that beautiful relationships are out there and that there's one for you and that you deserve it so we have new beginnings a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately right so like i said there will be passion between you and this will be something that you just love and you enjoy and it's definitely going to be completely new all right we have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others so this is him <laughs> but he he just wants you to really give this relationship a chance and he's hoping that you'll be able to heal enough and be ready enough to really put in the effort and the work that is equal to what he wants the effort and work that he wants to put in as well so i'm saying he because it does feel like a masculine energy but it could also be he, that that has nothing to do with gender okay so it would be anybody's gender right we have my beloved though we may be physically apart spiritually we are always united for love transcends transcends space and time nothing is missing okay so like i said he just wants you to heal and grow to the point where you guys can give each other the same energy because it's something that he really wants too that he's been looking forward to as well and he doesn't want to be the only one you know putting in that work all right he doesn't want to be the only one giving it a chance and giving it all his all his 100 percent, all his love and affection and time and effort he doesn't want to be the only one and he knows you can do it too you just have to trust yourself enough to be able to know that you're going to be more than okay okay so that's it for virgo number one thank you so much for watching i will be posting a song that correlates with the your energy and love for the month of june please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe hit the bell notification know whenever i have a brand new video all right and follow me on all my social media because i'll be posting the song on instagram also, if you would like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box on how to get that, all right? Okay, bye. Hello, Virgo 2, how are you? So we're going to be using the Final Tarot, Final Rose Tarot deck to look at what your love, what's in store for your love life in the month of June. So let's get started okay so virgo 2 this is actually like really cute so we have 202 on the clock and we also have these two cards i think are really cool because we have number three and number four the bachelor and the bachelorette all right so it's giving very much divine counterpart it's giving very much twin it's giving very much like meant to be okay period but anyways so we also have the knight of roses the front runner we have six of flutes butterflies this is such a pretty card we have ace of roses first impression rose we have the producer plant we have number 19 paradise and we have ace of mirrors fresh meat so this maybe someone new that you're kind of worried about so this may be a new person or maybe someone that you're getting a new first impression about so this may be either someone completely new that you never met before and so you're nervous about this encounter because you're like you sense it coming 
Um, Virgo moons tend to be able to sense a lot of things. Um, they may be prone to anxiety because of that, but they tend to sense a lot of things and a lot of energies. And so they may be sensing this energy coming in or this person coming in. They might be feeling a little bit nervous with the um, butterflies, right? But once this person actually comes in it's going to really settle and it's not really going to become so uh, like a nervous situation because butterflies aren't really a good thing you're not supposed to feel butterflies when you're with someone or when you meet someone because it's your body telling you to run away um you're supposed to feel a sense of calmness so right now you're feeling butterflies because you're nervous you have a little bit of think you're a little anxious about what's about to happen but when this person comes in you're going to feel um more calm like you're going to be ready for it. you're going to be like okay i'm here like what you got to say you're not going to be feeling those butterflies anymore like you're you're going to be good you're going to be fine right and so you're going to be ready to really give your first impression and ready to receive this person's first impression or their new impression if they have you know created a clean slate or a clean plate to really present to you how different they are than who they were before right so like i said it's maybe someone new completely new or maybe someone who did a complete 180 from the issues that they had before and now they're ready to present to you their cleared plate of bullshit <laughs> like the bullshit is completely the plate is completely cleared of bullshit it's cleaned it's wiped down and it's ready for something new and it's presenting it to you like see it's better i'm better i'm better now right and it's not going to be it's not going to be false right it's not going to be fake like it's true that they have gotten better but i do see that they're kind of um sneaky so we have this producer plant with the bomb and then the snake right so i do see them kind of planning them coming to you right they're slithering their way to you but they're not going to be making it super obvious like they're going to plan something out so maybe they're going to talk to a friend and be like hey um remember me or like hey um i know we only met once or hey, you know, they're gonna try and get in contact with someone that you know and be like, is she, you know, gonna be at X, Y, and Z bar tonight? Or is she gonna be X, uh, LMNOP tonight? Because I really want to meet her and I really wanna talk to her. Or they might hit you up directly and be like, I see the number six, which represents the lover's card. So like I said, this is a okay divine counterpart but um this may be someone who like they might call you up and be like hey like when are you coming in or where are you going to be this weekend or where are you going to be this summer or are we going to be this winter break and you're going to tell them because you're like oh you're cool with them so you're just like oh yeah you know, I'm gonna be X, Y, and Z, and they're gonna pull up and they're like, hey, this is so crazy. Like, it's not crazy because I told you, but okay. Um, <laughs> with the producer plan, that this is probably a plan that would work out better if this is someone that you already know or you're already friends with, the word of the case may be, or someone that you're cool with but you kind of fell out of contact with, or the case may be. Uh, but if it's someone that you don't know, like a completely new person fresh so what i see for fresh meat is that most likely this is someone that you do know so this might also represent a fresh start like i said a cleared plate a clean plate so a fresh start because fresh keeps popping up and i, I keep it keeps telling me to look at fresh so this may be a fresh start with their new first impression right and you're maybe a little bit nervous about it so they might even just straight up ask you on a date and be like hey can we hang out you know, let's hang out at Chipotle tonight or something like that. I don't know how much money y'all got, so do whatever you can. And you show up and it's a, a whole romantic situation. So, um, but if this is someone that you don't know, then I don't really see them. I do see them planning out some way to get into contact with you so that they can have a conversation about their feelings for you. But they will be planned. This person will be planning some way some way to get into contact with you not just through you know technology but physically get into contact with you like sh 
see you physically in real life face-to-face -face conversation i do see them trying to plan that out um without alarming you because they don't want to scare you away and they don't want to seem like a creepy stalker either so but they just really want to talk to you they really just want to see you face face to face and they really just want to hang out with you and show you that they're romantically interested in you show you that they can be a good partner and that they will give their hundred percent thousand percent and that they are a different person um i mean they're the same they have the same great qualities but different person in in terms of uh low vibrational behaviors they've been working on that and they've been improving and now they're they're ready for a fresh start. They're ready for that and they're ready for you. All right. So I see number 19, paradise, nine plus one equals 10, which is like a great sign of like abundance and everything just all coming to you like reparations or good karma you know so i do see that this relationship will bring a lot of abundance and good karma and it will create a paradise between you two so i do sense like this bachelor is the one coming to you and you coming to them so i do see that you are the bachelorette and they are the bachelor bachelor so i do sense that you are the feminine energy that they are the masculine energy however this has nothing to do with gender and it could be the other way around so honestly just take what resonates but this is what i'm sensing right now it's the energy i'm picking up on right now um with the front runner i do see that this is a this is going to be successful so knight of roses i do see them kind of running in and trying to make it to that finish line in time so that they can be able to see you and have this conversation like they're trying to race towards you so in this moment they might be going through a process of growth and evolution that is having them race towards you spiritually without even realizing it and in june i do see them kind of being like oh my god yes i need to like really rush rushing and racing to be the front runner be the first one to ask you on a date take you on a date and like you know racing to be the one basically like they don't want to lose you to anybody else because they know they can give you the whole world they just had to learn some lessons and you had to too you had to learn some lessons as well um and so now you guys are at a point where you're able to give each other the entire world all right all the love and i saw 11 11 so yes ma'am the entire world all the love you know just giving very much twin right you guys learned your lessons and you don't want well they mostly don't want you to to, to be with anybody else and they're not going to come at you in a manipulative way or anything. They're going to come at you straight and 100% themselves because they want this relationship to be real and long lasting, right? So I'm going to, so this is a great reading. This is definitely someone that you knew before or someone that you might have met recently, but they are most definitely, um, picking up speed in their growth and healing process and they are in the month of june going to start planning they're planning the a way to get to you and a way to see you in person so that's going to be amazing so i'm going to take a look at the romance angels oracle cards and ask what what energy will this relationship bring if you were to you know accept their love accept the relationship with them what, what what kind of energy will this relationship have and what kind of person is this right okay so at the bottom of the deck we have release your ex the time has come to clear your energy we have underneath that give your relationship a chance work on your partnership and underneath that we have uh, very soon decide clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and then we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life we have reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life we have this could be the one this could be the one so you have you've already met the romantic partner you seek we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring 
and express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so like i said you do need to release the past of how you your first impression of this person or how you or um if this is a new person um you need to release how you feel about these types of people you may have had a bad experience with these types of people before and so you're kind of just like Mm, I don't I, I don't know about all that you know I mean you may have some preconceived notions about this person based off of certain things like the way they wear their hat or the color shirt they are wearing or the fact they have a mustache or the fact they have a high voice or a deep voice or I know a big booty I don't know <laughs> and that might trigger you into having these thoughts about oh well I dated a guy who was like that and that was a bad experience and you can't come into the situation like that you need to really release that so you can really open yourself up to these opportunities right and really give this relationship a chance right and um, that's coming in very soon right so we have reconciliation so from your past returning to your life so like i said this may be someone that you already know if it isn't someone that you already know this may be someone you have a strong past life relationship with and you may have seen them before but you guys never really talked or anything like that but you might have seen them in the grocery store but nothing happened you didn't talk you didn't really like make eye contact like that you may have made eye contact you may have passed by each other I mean, this person may have just in that moment been just a casual stranger in the grocery store or at the park or whatever the case may be, or maybe some casual stranger that delivered your groceries or something like that. Someone that you have come into contact before with before, or have seen before, but you never really realized it or processed it. And now this person is basically coming back and is like, oh hey you know right 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 and you probably won't realize that you already met this person before or we've already seen this person before until like a couple of days or weeks into the relationship and you're just like something is so familiar about this person and your first instinct would be oh like you know past life you know but then you have this flashback to like when you were at the grocery store when you were at the park and you saw this guy who had like this face or you saw this girl who had like this face and you're just like oh wait that's that person and so yeah this doesn't necessarily mean it has to be you know your ex it could literally just mean someone that you've seen before someone that you came into contact with before or strictly just a past strong past life relationship right so not to scare you guys okay some of you are like no i'd never go back i'm not trying to scare you i'm just trying to say there are other ways that can be interpreted <laughs> but then we also have codependency so i see with this reconciliation you will be healing any codependency issues you've had in your past relationships so that's a part of the releasing your ex process releasing your trauma process you will be releasing any issues that you have that made it difficult for you to be in relationships or for you to be a um the best partner you can possibly be and the best version of yourself you can possibly be you'll be releasing it through this process because you will be opening yourself up to all these other opportunities um because you are healing and you are growing from the ways that you were hurt in the past right so yeah this could be the one like i said this is definitely a divine counterpart it's definitely someone who's on your page who you have deep romantic feelings for that you probably never felt before you have expressed your love okay express your love so this is definitely someone who's going to is going to go from you know all this trauma feelings to oh wait this is different this is like well a complete first different fresh start from what I expected because I expected this person to be x y and z but I'm glad I opened myself up to something different to a different possibility because I most definitely would have sabotaged this amazing relationship and that's something that I do not want to do because this is amazing and I did not expect that so do not sabotage your own relationship okay because this could be the one and they just want to express their love and the romantic feelings to you. They just want to, you know, be there for you, but also give you your space, you know, which will help you release that codependency and those abandonment issues that you might have, right? But they definitely want to um, 
romance you and make you feel good because you deserve it and you're worthy and you're beautiful and you're amazing in their eyes you are a you're just wow like no words to describe how beautiful how handsome how gorgeous how amazing you are not just how you look on the outside but your energy your aura the way it just comes out of you you're they're just like a one this is my person this is my person period i ain't going nowhere else i'm staying by your side okay okay so most definitely this is someone that you guys are pretty much going to be um if not physically spiritually attached to the hip like this is your person this is your best friend this is someone you can trust and talk to a lot of things about even the weird stuff like you're really going to be uh, feel 100 percent safe and 100 percent real with this person and it's going to be something so different so new that you've always wanted and it's going to last forever so we have 21 12 on the clock okay on the camera okay reflecting numbers reflecting energy giving it back period so giving it back period so like i said you don't have to worry about this you just need to worry about letting go of the hurt from the past right and uh, oh past life relationships like i said for some of you this may be just a past life relationship for some of you this may be the same person but also a past life relationship but yeah like i said there's definitely someone who's going to give you this brand new impression of people like them are like or if it's someone that you already know it's definitely they're definitely going to give you a brand new impression on who they are 22 on the clock actually two 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 on the clock so this is definitely someone who's going to come in and really give you a brand new impression on what people like them are like or on who they are if you've dealt with them before. So really stay open to that. Don't come in with any pre preconceived notions or judgments or ready to be defensive because they really did do a 180 and this is not a lie. And them trying to orchestrate a way to get into in-person contact with you is not manipulative and they're not trying to manipulate you or hurt you or come after you they're just trying to really show you how much they really want to give to you what you deserve period so we're going to take lover's oracle cards and you're going to ask for some messages from your person okay come out of there oh this one wouldn't come out the decks on the I mean out the bottom just leave it here because I think that resonates with you so we have a message for you this is the one that got stuck in the box and didn't want to come out it says a message for you I'm thinking of you in this very moment your love fills me with light I love you so if there's someone that you know they do still think about you and they do reflect on you know your past time together and they do think like damn what would have happened if we both you know had our stuff together would it turn into something beautiful if there's someone that you don't know yet or only got into if someone that you don't know yet um they are thinking of an idea of their ideal person and it just so happens to be very similar to who you are almost like exactly to who you are they just don't know you yet right so we have beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire one another are qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection so like i said this is giving very much twin energy divine counterpart energy you guys feel the same way for each other and you may be the one who's not you know going in and trying to you know give a better impression of yourself but you still have those those feelings there and again if this this is someone new you're definitely going to have to be wary of your feelings with towards them you're definitely going to have to take a moment to really reflect on whether or not this is a just a them issue or if it's also a you issue as well and if it's something that you also need to work on right because you guys are very similar but also very different at the same time you guys are like two sides of the same coin 
and so you're really going to have to watch yourself okay don't be don't be super hypocritical okay okay there's no rules for you and not for me okay it's rules for everybody okay so we have um transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things or I see that burning heart because we also got passion, a magnet, a magnetic instinctive quality surrounds you at a, at present. Enjoy it. Okay. Ooh, child. We have underneath that. Okay. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So like that, I said. Okay. Like I said, then we also have sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. All right. So like I said. You guys are an exact reflection of each other. You see them looking into each other's eyes. You guys are very passionate and loving towards each other. That's the type of relationship it's going to be. And they're definitely going to feel that way towards you. They're going to be like, this is my girl. This is my guy. Like, this is my person. I can't get enough of them. Yada, yada. We have surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Like I said... This is the water, so releasing those emotions that hurt and the pain into the water because how are you supposed to? And we also have the moon, which has to do with like intuition and also, again, the water. So how are you supposed to, you know, invite this person in? That's supposed to be the exact reflection of, you know, a higher vibrating version of yourself if you're not even vibrating on that vibration, you know? <laughs> like, that's not how that works. You need to get up on that level. And the only way to do that is to heal and truly move on from those issues from your past not just being under the rug but really being like you know what like addressing it confronting it you know um we have uh, romance cupid's arrow strikes like i said another reflection another reflection like i said you guys there's just so much passion and energy and chemistry between you two because you guys just like you're like this you're like this like like, I don't know how, like, you guys could literally melt into one person. I'm pretty sure if you guys were to, I swear, if, like, you could only see someone's, like, personality or energy, they, you, like, people wouldn't be able to tell the difference between you two. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to tell the difference between you two. If they could see your personality, only could see personality and energy, they would not be able to tell the difference between you two. So, you guys would be, like, you're basically like i said twins right so we have romance and then we have time you're trying too hard to give it time so like i said this is something that has been growing over time very slowly and that's why there may have been times where you're feeling like damn i'm like really single like really really single like i've been real single for a while now or i've been like really try like being single and i've been trying these relationships and stuff but they haven't really been working out you know, and I see these hearts, they're kind of like falling off the tree. That's what it looks like to me. So it's kind of just like, damn, it's been a long time, a long time since you've seen this person or a long time since you've been in a real deep, loving, connecting relationship or both. And it's just, you're, you're just ready for it. And so giving it time, um, allow the universe to guide you in the right direction, basically. Um, 3003. Like I said, and more confirmation, just allow yourself to be guided because you are doing the work and you're putting in the right amount of work. And so allow things to unfold as they should and just allow things to be. Don't try to control things or try to make things happen um, sooner than they're supposed to or later than they're supposed to. Just accept them for what they are, right? Because it has been a long time but listen it's the right time just because it's a long time doesn't mean it's the right time okay it is the right time okay you are not late you're not behind you're not too early you're not too fast you are on time and everything is coming through perfect divine timing in the month of june this person will come through and really just give you a show of who they really are and it's not going to be surface level it's going to be real it's going to be deep it's going to be honest it's going to be true right so anyways that's it for you guys sound like a beautiful 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 relationship so powerful like a true 
power couple type of vibe like y'all gonna be so spiritually unstoppable and abundant and just magnifying and bring so much light to this world i can really feel it and i can really see it like i see you guys just light everywhere like the sun like the surface of the freaking sun okay so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe i will be posting a song for you guys on my instagram so please don't forget to follow me on all my social media in the description box down below if you would like a personal reading there's a link in the description box down below on how to get that all right and i hope you guys have a wonderful day also don't forget to share this with someone that you might think will enjoy this and bye.